Merry Meet. This is Blue Whisperer and welcome brothers and sisters of the craft. Um, <laughs> let's just say this is like take number three, all right? I thought I had my video finished and after I had, um, you know, finished the video, um, someone else in the house was listening to what I had to say and there was another discussion mm -hmm. which brought up a couple more points, so I'm doing this again, not changing my views. I just want to put it out there. <laughs> And um, this is in reference to Kim Davis, who was refusing to issue marriage license to same-sex couples. All right. When it comes to the religious beliefs, there's so many religions out there. And what makes, yeah, and this is directly to Kim Davis, what makes you feel that your religion is right and other people's religions are wrong, especially if they're Bible-based? There are a lot of people in the gay community that have churches and they worship God. They read from the Bible and they get their text from the Bible. What makes your interpretation or your preacher's interpretation or your husband in your case, your husband's interpretation more right than God's? Okay. Um, it says right there in the Bible that, you know, he has touched all of man, the heart of all man. Um, we know right from wrong and if you want to know if God's really speaking to you or not on what you're doing is right or wrong think about your conscience all right think about how you're treating people what you're doing that's not of God that's called being a bully all right they were throwing rocks at a whore and Jesus walked up and you know handed them a stone and said if you're without sin cast the first stone baby you are casting stones stop because basically what Jesus is saying is you're wrong all right this is what I'm talking about. When you go to a funeral and a child walks up to the body and asks you, you know, maybe maybe they talk about fear or, you know, why aren't they moving or whatever. And you, I don't know how many times I've heard it. Look, that's just a shell. They're no longer there. They've left their body. They're not even in their body anymore. And maybe the child might ask, well, what does our souls look like? Well, our souls don't look like anything. Our spirits are without color. They're without gender. We're all the same. Okay. Um, so if we're all the same, then that would make every single marriage out there a same-sex marriage. Now, wouldn't it? Because ultimately, and this is where people get confused, we are spirits having a human experience. These bodies are just, I call them a transport unit, you know, um, this is our, where we live and yes, it is a shell. It's not, you know, anything other than that. So what you're telling the child, then you're giving them some mixed feelings here. You're telling them that everybody's the same, but yet when we're in this physical body, the one that we're going to shed and leave one day, um, that makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. No, it doesn't. If you're doing something that you think is right and you have an inkling inside you that maybe you're wrong, go with the inkling, okay? That is the spirit talking to you. That's your intuition. Do not dismiss it. Man will lie to you. Man will tell you what the Bible means. God's already told you what what means. And I think deep down inside you know it. We are always trying to control one another. we got to stop this. So... That was pretty much it. I woke up this morning. First thing I see on my Facebook is somebody has uh, posted an article about Kim Davis and her little time in jail and what her plan is and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Any job I ever been to, anytime I refused to do what I was told to do in that job, I'd be fired. Wouldn't you? Why is this woman still employed? I don't care if it's a government job. She has broke the contract by not doing her job. Okay, I don't care uh, what her beliefs are. And um, even God told her, quit your job. I can prove it. Woman, Kim, if you're watching, Matthew 5, 29 through 30. If you're right, I offend thee. Pluck it out. Cast it from thee. For it is profit that thee and one of the members should perish, and not that the whole body should be cast into hell, which I'm kind of having a problem with that because... If this body is just a shell, the body's not going to hell. <laughs> okay. We're talking spiritual. Maybe your spirit would be going to hell. Um, and this is just an example anyway, I believe. 
If your right hand offends thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means if there's something wrong, if you, if, if you feel that something is going against your religious belief or whatever, get rid of it. Not the other way around. Don't force it to do your will. Get rid of it. If your job is forcing you to do something you don't believe you should be doing, walk away from your job. Get rid of the job. Go back home. Sew little dresses. Bake a cake. You know, have a hot flash. I don't care. Just get away from it. And even your Bible is telling you to get away from it. Cast it away. Cast it away. If it offends you. If it offends you. It doesn't offend God. You'd be surprised what really does offend God. You know, and I can say that with the most confidence ever because I know what I have studied and I know what I believe and I know what my conscience tells me. And, um, and, and that's pretty much what it's all about. You're being a bully. You are trying to force your views on somebody else. You're trying to say your religion is more important than the next person's religion, but you haven't studied their religion, have you? You haven't really stopped and thought about anything. You don't second guess anything. You do what you're told because you're a little step for life and that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so the discussion that I had after that was about the government shouldn't be telling people what to do. The government shouldn't be what to do. You know, what about these, this place that refused to bake a wedding cake for a same-sex couple? That's their religious view. They don't have to. Yes, they do. If they signed on a dotted line, accepting money from the government in a loan or a grant or whatever, they signed on that dotted line the contract that talks about no discrimination. So, yes, they have to. And if they lost their business because of bad publicity, they deserved it because they were being bullies. They were forcing their opinion on somebody else. You know, they did the exact opposite of what they said they would do. They signed the contract. If you're signing a contract and you're not reading it, you have nobody else to blame but yourself. Stop blaming the gay community. Stop blaming the government. Take responsibility for yourself. Simple as that. So, Kim, quit your job. Um, if you're not going to quit your job, I'm going to, you know, put it out there that whoever is your boss or the government, get her out of there. Anybody else that's doing this, get them out of there. If you would, you know, I mean, any job out there where somebody refuses to do what their job entails, um, they're not causing harm to anybody. They're and 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 please don't don't come back at me and saying that same sex marriage and that's harm in the eyes of God. No, it isn't. I don't believe that shit. I believe bullying and you know you judging. I mean, the Bible's full of everything telling you not to do what you're doing. People like Kim. You know, judge not, lest you be judged, because you'll be judged in the measure in which you judge. You know. Um, you need to get the own log out of your own eye before you start picking the speck out of your brother's eye. Look them up. They're in there. So stop judging people because you don't know what sex their spirit is. It's the same as yours. Kim, your husband, his physical body might be different from yours, but his spirit has the same junk between his legs as you do. None. All right. With that being said, um, I think I pretty much got my point out there. And basically, I guess that the, to this little rant of mine was just my way of just um, trying to get out to some of the bullies that um, you're an asshole. <laughs> if you're a bully, you're an asshole. I don't care what you're bullying. And really quick before I end this video, I want to say this in the opposite direction. If you're a pagan and you're picking on people for their beliefs and you don't believe this and that and everything, you're just as bad. Um, because, again, if you believe that we are spirits having a human experience and you're judging somebody else for their path because you think their yours is right and theirs is wrong, then you're wrong. Everybody has their own path. Stop judging one another. And just accept everybody. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, getting along, quit judging everybody. There's just way too much of that. Even in the witchy community, I've been noticing. Um, I'm going to put this out there real quick, too, because it's something that kind of resonates. If you're running somebody else down because 
of whatever, you disagree with how they're doing things or whatever, you put it out there, um, check yourself. Because if you're trying to find fault with somebody else in their path or their walk or whatever it is they're doing to justify yourself or because you have a low self-esteem, check yourself. Running somebody else down to make yourself look good does not make you look good. It makes you look needy. You know, gain your own self-confidence. Stop looking for faults in others in order to justify or make yourself feel good. It doesn't work. It's very juvenile. It's very childish. Um, and I have absolutely no respect for somebody that does that. If you come to me and you say, look what, uh, you know, look what I'm doing. Look how wonderful I am. I do this this way. I'm practicing this. And... All these other people whose names I'm not going to mention aren't. And that's supposed to make you look good. You can do whatever it is that you're doing that makes you feel good about yourself or if you feel justified in doing without having to point out faults in other people. Because you're not walking their path. You're walking your own. Stop looking at other people's. And if, it's, if you're looking at YouTube videos looking for fault with people, you're not taking care of your own. Stop. This shit's got, I mean, I see it all the time and I'll probably be judged for this and whatever and what I, I'll probably lose a few uh, subscribers. I don't really, you know, you know how I feel, but I don't give a rat's ass because I'm not here to justify you. And um, I, this is my vlog. This is my log of my path that I can look back that I choose to share. And if you don't agree with whatever it is I'm doing, you know, stop following me, don't subscribe, don't watch my videos, whatever. I don't really care, you know, because I have to walk my own path. I can't walk yours, and I'm not walking yours for you, and I'm not trying to drag you down my path. This is just my thoughts, my opinions, and everybody has them. So, um, I, I did want to put that out there, that if you are looking for fault in other people just to make yourself feel good, and if you don't think that you're doing that, go back and look at your shit, you know, and figure it out because we all do it at one point or another. But I just wanted to put that out there that I really feel because I've been seeing a lot of um, people doing that. You're not very mature if you're doing that. Um, stop looking at other people to see or justify whether you're right or wrong about something. Just don't do it. And that's not just for the witchy community. That's for all communities, um, all age groups or whatever. Keep your eyes focused on what it is that you're doing and doing for yourself. And if you are being judgmental about something, just stop following them. Don't go to your friends and try to run that person down or discredit them. You know, discrediting somebody else doesn't make put you on a higher pedestal. If you want to be higher, if you want to be further, if you want to be more free in your walk, then you need to focus in on what it is about you and your spirit, not somebody else's. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay. That's it. Blessed be everybody and all that crap.